Alright guys, this is a review on the Rab Infinity Endurance Jacket. I'm your ho your host, Miggity Miggity Max, and um, let's get right to it. I'm going to keep this quick and simple, get right to the point, it's a little late. Um, a few days ago, we had some pretty frigid temperatures, so frigid in fact that it was life-threatening. Um, about February 14th, late Saturday night into Sunday morning, uh, particularly around 4 Four in the morning, temperatures dropped to about one degree in Manhattan, one degree Fahrenheit. So, to all you foreigners, that's minus 17 degrees Celsius. That's the coldest I've ever experienced in my life in New Jersey. Um, and our winters are pretty cold. They're mild for the most part, but they can get cold. And we had a wind chill of about anywhere from minus 10 to minus 15 and at some times minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So there were life-threatening uh, temperatures. So if you didn't need to be out, your butt would stay the heck home. Um, me, my stupid mind... I'm 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 just like this. Anytime I get any type of gear, any type of uh accessories, I gotta test it to its full extent. You know, I wanna know if it works because I wanna be in a situation where I'm out in the wilderness and I'm trying to rely on these type of garments and they fail on me. I mean, what can I do? I'm 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 stuck. So anyway, this is exactly what I had on, minus the pants, of course. Um from the waist up, let's break it down real quick. Heat Tech, which I bought at the Unique Glow. It's a Japanese uh, company that's located in New York City, Manhattan. And it's pretty nice, you know, nice base layer. Retains some uh, heat, not bad. And then, over that, my mid layer, which is a, a fleece windbreaker. Which I normally wear when I'm going cycling, like in the spring or fall, as a standalone, you know. Um, not bad, very light. And then I have the bad boy. This is the Rab Infinity Endurance Jacket. Down Jacket. Um, for those that don't know much about downs, I'm sure there's people that do. I'm sure you got experts and they're probably like, oh, who don't know about down? Oh, ha, ha. You'd be surprised because, you know, there's a lot of folks out there, young and old, you know, in the wintertime. And I see them. They're wearing leather jackets and they're heavy, which is not bad. They look nice, you know, and they're very durable. But, you know, they're like, oh, it's cold. It's cold. I'm like, well, you, sh you ever thought about investing in a down jacket? Some people don't know what it is. Other people are aware of it, but they're just skeptical about it. You know, oh, it's so light. How can it keep you warm? Well, I'm telling you right now. This is exactly what I wore. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Open. Great articulation. I mean, I can... This jacket, this is a technical jacket. Basically, it's designed for alpinists, mountaineers, people that are in the outdoors that are very, uh, that are doing aerobic activity. And, um, show you what it looks like. Zipped up. So this is pretty much what it looks like zipped up. I prefer uh, jackets to be to not go past the waist. That's just my preference. I don't want to feel any type of hindrance when I'm walking. You know, using my trekking pole or what have you. Um, jacket weighs an astounding 21 ounces. I mean. That's about a that you break it down. That's a pound and a half. You you just can't beat that. Can't beat that. Um, to give me an idea what a pound and a half is. Uh, damn. I don't have anything here. That's a pound and a half. All right, a boot. One boot would probably weigh a little bit over a pound. This is how much the jacket weighs. I mean, it's it's unbelievable, and um. The outer fabric is made from um, Pertex Endurance, which is a durable fabric. Um, 
it has a ripstop uh, material, which basically means it's abrasion resistant, um, which means it could take a bit of ground and pound, but you don't want to go too crazy because ultimately down jackets relatively fragile. You don't want to puncture them or anything like that because then the goose down will start to leak out and through time the jacket's just slowly and gradually losing its insulation. Um, what else? Oh, another thing guys, when you do purchase any RAD product, okay, you're going to come to find that the zipper is going to feel weird. And it, the reason why it feels weird when you're zipping it up is because it's actually on the left side. When in fact, it should be on the right. But because this is a European company, a British company, uh, the zipper is going to be on my left, which would be your right, or to the viewers, your right. Um, at first, I was like, "Did they send me a female, a woman's jacket?" Like, and and you, to be honest with you, I wouldn't even care. I'm 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 not sexist. As long as it works, I don't care. But um, yeah. So I did more research, and yeah, you know, pretty much everything outside the United States is. I don't want to say backwards because that would imply that, you know, they're not with the times or they're just wrong and we're right. It's just that they have their thing and we have ours. So, yeah, so you guys with any rap products, don't worry. You got the right jacket. Um, and uh, up top here, there's like a reinforced fabric, you know, in case you have like a back strap or what Europeans call a rucksack. Um, Cause this this area here is very prone to abrasion, uh, erosion through time. So Rab got smart and said, "You know what? Let's bump it up a bit." And I appreciate that, Rab. Thank you very much. Let me get up, show you what it looks like closed again. You got. You got a. Uh, Napoleon pockets. You can put like a, a phone or a device, anything you want. And now let me tell you guys, when it's really, really frigid, you're going to want to put your phone either in here or inside. It doesn't matter. You can put it in this little pocket here because there's actually down in the out. Like you put your hands here, the down is actually in front of your hand. And then behind your hand, you got your own body heat. So. You know, you got the best of both worlds, and your hand is, trust me, it, it's going to be so comfortable, you feel like you never left the house. You're going to want your phone here, because otherwise your phone, the battery will die. I remember when I was doing a video on a Brooklyn Bridge during the one degree weather, and I was trying to, you know, I'm holding the phone, and I'm taping for about a minute and a half all of a sudden, and I had about maybe 70% and battery power. Phone just completely deceased. It, it it was it was that cold. So, yeah, that's what you want to do, guys. You want to keep your phone nice and snug and cozy. Also, we have internal pockets here as well, as you can see. Yep. And also, my gloves fell on me, and they were Sub Zero gloves. Uh. It's it's it was that cold. So basically, what I did was took the gloves off, put my hands in my pocket, and these hand warm pockets they're actually warmer than my gloves, believe it or not. So I didn't even need my gloves. My hands were nice and toasty. So yeah, guys, don't worry about gloves with with this uh bad boy. And the best feature is the hood you guys gotta check it out man the hood oh my god it's freaking amazing right see right now i'm starting to get a little stuffy and hot because this is this is all down it's just the heat retention on this is just incredible and then if you want to if it gets really windy and crazy which it did on the top of that bridge want to fasten it here here and here Nice and snug. Not only that, but I, when I move, the hoodie moves with me. 
Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's not snug. So, when I move, notice the difference? The hood doesn't follow my head. So now I have obstructions. You know, if I'm climbing and I want to see something to my right or to my left, oh, I don't know what's to my 3 o'clock, don't know what's to my 9 o'clock, you know? So this kind of like remedies the situation. And uh, last but not least, this is going to be my favorite part of the segment before I click off. Uh, I'm going to create a magic trick. You guys are going to love this. <laughs> Got to sit down for this one. Abracadabra. Voila. And this is what the jacket looks like. By the way, it was a size medium. I'm about six feet, 165 pounds, and it fits just great. I prefer a nice athletic fit, very slim. So this isn't too big on me at all. Just big enough that I can lay, I could put about two, maybe three layers underneath. I don't want to go any more than that. I normally just have two layers when I'm wearing a jacket like this. So this is it, man. Check it out. And it weighs nothing. You know? And I do this like if I'm going hiking, I'm starting to overheat, and I don't really need this. Just put it right in here. Show you how it works. Whoops. There you go. Got my down jacket right here. Flossing, maxing, bowling. Bling bling. No, I'm just kidding, but <laughs> but uh yeah, this is how it's gonna look. You know, very convenient. Hook it up to my carabiner and uh good to go. Well, this is Max signing off. Oh, and one last thing. 850 fill power, um, water resistant, not waterproof. You don't, you don't, you don't want to wear this jacket in the rain. What's going to happen is the down's going to collapse, and then you're going to lose all your insulation. Doesn't mean the jacket's ruined. Um, your jacket's still good. It's just not good for that time frame. You're just going to have to let it dry. Um, what else? Uh, that's it. I I normally wear it. Anywhere from from the low twenties to teens down into the single digits. That's the only time I wear the jacket. Anything above that, I'm wearing my light down jacket. Um, so I'm not gonna say the name of it right now because I'm doing the Rab Infinity Endurance jacket review, and I'm not doing anything else. So. All right, guys. Uh, Eight fifty fill power, and once again, and uh, fill power is the Measurement of the down's resistance to pressure. In other words, 
if I press down on this, it's its ability to puff back to its original loftiness or puffiness within a short period of time. Uh, the higher the number, the better the loft, the greater the loft, the more warmth it's able to re retain. So that's it. See you.